Hello everybody, Michael Cummins here from Perth Golf Centre, coming to you today with a quick video on a topic I get asked about quite regularly and especially when we do fitting sessions, uh, which is what are bounce angles. So bounce angles are extremely important uh, when it comes to especially the short game area because if we don't have correct bounce angles, it can influence the way we hit chip shots and bunker shots and also help us perform better or hinder us to actually get the golf ball to go closer to the hole. So first and foremost, bounce angle, what is it? And for those of you who don't know, please don't worry. It's something that, uh, like I said, I get asked questions about all the time. Um, so bounce angle in its definition is basically the angle between the leading edge of the club, the sharp part at the bottom, and the trailing edge of the base of the club here, or the rear of the club. So if I drew a straight line and drew an angle between the trailing edge and the leading edge, that angle is what's classified as the bounce angle. Now bounce angles vary from low bounce, which is four to six degrees, up to high bounce, which is 12 to 14 degrees. You also get in between, which is eight to 10, which is moderate bounce as well. So what do these do and how do they affect us when we're hitting chip shots? And also what club is gonna suit us better depending on our situation in relation to the golf courses that we play. Because that's what I'm gonna to cover today. It's not necessarily down to what technique you've got, it's just a generalization on what courses you play to what kind of bounce angles you should be looking for. So as I was saying before, we have a couple of different options. This one here in my hands, one of the new SM8, uh, the Titleist SM8 wedges. This is a 60 degree wedge and it has 12 degrees of bounce. So it's on the higher end of the spectrum of bounce angles. Now, when we look at the higher end of spectrum of the bounce angles, that is generally better for softer surfaces and softer bunkers. Now, the reason for this is because, let's say for instance, sakes, we're hitting a nice chip shot uh, around the green. We're in Perth at the moment, we're coming into winter, we've got a bit of rain around, we've got that soft surface and we've got to make sure that we hit that golf ball nicely, otherwise it's just gonna dig into the ground. Now, if we have very little bounce, if we've only got four degrees of bounce, it creates a very sharp leading edge at the front of our club. So when we set up and come back, we've got no room to work with. That leading edge is going to want to hit down and get stuck in that mud. So I want you to be uh, just mindful if that's something that you do regularly and you play on soft surfaces, check your wedges, especially your sand wedge and potentially your lob wedge if you've got one of those and have a look at your bounce angle. See if it's an extremely low bounce angle because that could be an influencing factor in why you do those types of shots. Now let's go on the flip side. Let's say we've got a hard surface. We've got a golf course like a Lynx style course like Kennedy Bay, uh, which is here in Perth. Uh, we require wedges with less bounce. Their fairways are pretty much like hitting off of this. So we need a golf club that's going to be able to get that leading edge under the golf ball to get it onto the green. If we have a golf club that has a lot of bounce, so this one here, 12 degrees, even up to 14 degrees, what happens is when that club sits on the ground, that leading edge actually exposes itself. So it sits up slightly off the ground. So if I'm hitting a shot and that leading edge is a little bit off the ground and I'm trying to trap it, get it underneath there, especially on those rock hard surfaces, it's gonna be very difficult. So you have uh, those bad shots for those kind of people will be the bladed shots that go straight over the back of the green. So once again, if you're a player that plays on firm surfaces, check your wedge bounce. Do you have high bounce? Because that could be an influencing factor while you're hitting those bad ones over the back of the green. Now, if we jump into the middle of it, we've got say 10 or eight to 10 degrees bounce, which are for either moderate surfaces, so something that's not too hard, not too, uh, not too firm, uh, sorry, not too hard, not too soft, uh, or if you play different courses. If you play different courses where one week you go play a link style course, the next week you go play a soft course and you don't want to change wedges, then having that in-between bounce is generally a good way to go about it. So in my wedge fitting kit, I've got a bunch of wedges over here. Just so for an example, I've got the 60 degree and 12. I've got a 52 and eight. I've got a 46 and 10 and I've got a 56 and eight. So as you can see there, I've got a few different wedges all with different bounce. Now, the other thing you can do and what we look at when we do wedge fitting is we try and ensure that we, we understand what courses you play, what kind of technique you've got as well, which is another thing I'll look at or talk about in the future because technique also influences 
the type of wedges that you utilize and also the grinds and the bounce. That's a little more in depth and we will go into that uh, at, at a later stage. Um, but basically you can also have different bounces between different wedges. So let's say for instance, uh, sakes, we have a 50 degree, a 54 and a 58 or a 60 degree wedge in our bag. Each wedge can have a different bounce. So let's say you've got a shot that you round the green and it's on a firm surface. You can use the wedge with a lower bounce. And then on the next hole, if you've got a slightly softer surface, you can hit the wedge with a higher bounce. So you don't have to just utilize one wedge and try and manipulate it. You can have a variety of wedges with a variety of different bounce angles to make sure that it uh, helps you get the best out of your short game. So I hope that gave you a bit of an explanation into what bounce angles are and a generalization into what courses you play, how that can influence the type of bounce angles that you need on your current set of wedges. So uh, once again, I hope that helped. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, any comments or questions, uh, feel free as always to leave them below. And uh, thank you very much for watching.